after escaping reporters. 17-year-old Randy finally closed his eyes at 2 a.m. in 1964. He hadn't slept for 11 days straight. Initially, he aimed to make a big splash at the San Diego Science Fair by challenging the sleepless record. The experiment caught local reporters' attention and drew William DeMint, a sleep research pioneer from Stanford. DeMint drove to San Diego to closely monitor Randy's health with Navy Officer Ross. By the third day, Randy's senses began to betray him. He couldn't identify objects by touch. His memory collapsed, cognition declined sharply, and reality blurred completely. He hallucinated, seeing walls breathe and hearing non-existent sounds. To help Randy stay awake, DeMint played basketball and marbles with him. Even on the 10th day, Randy still won every time at pinball. But on the 11th day, when asked to count down from 100 and subtract seven, he stopped at 65 and completely forgot what he was doing. The teenager became irritable and lost his temper over reporters. 264 hours later, Randy was rushed to the Naval Hospital. Monitored by an EEG, he slept for 14 hours. A subsequent examination found no abnormalities. Randy's record was broken the same year, with a limit reaching nearly 19 days. Yet, sleep remains unavoidable for humans. Guinness later excluded such dangerous records, while human exploration of this mysterious field continues. It's just the beginning. Ten years earlier, in a University of Chicago basement, 30-year-old graduate student Asarinsky watched a slowly unrolling EEG chart as electrodes on his eight-year-old son Amon's scalp recorded brain waves. After midnight, the pen suddenly trembled. Thinking the instrument was faulty, Asarinsky checked and saw his son still asleep. He gently lifted the boy's eyelids and found the eyes darting rapidly, almost as if awake. And so, REM sleep was finally discovered. Sleep isn't a brain shutdown. During this period, the brain is as active as when awake, filled with dreams. But why wasn't this obvious phenomenon public until 1953? Asarinsky's Minter Kleitman was embarrassed because they hadn't recorded continuously throughout the night before. To save expensive recording paper, they only recorded a few minutes every two to three hours. Rapid eye movement occurs about 90 minutes after falling asleep and cycles four to five times night. Each sleep lasts 20 to 30 minutes. Researchers recorded the peaceful sleep before, including light and slow wave sleep. After cognition disrupts this quiet sleep, new issues arise, since the brain is active in dreams. So why don't we jump out of bed? French scientist Juvert found the answer in cats. After damaging the pontine tegmentum, a part of the cat's brainstem controlling muscle tone, these cats would stand during REM sleep. They would chase unseen prey and adopt defensive postures. Like hunting in dreams, every night our brain takes charge in the dream world to protect us by cutting off the body's execution switch. When scientists became fascinated by the wonders of rapid eye movement sleep, they explored further. Slow wave sleep gained attention in the early 21st century. In 2007, German scientist Jan Born had subjects learn word pairs while smelling roses. That night, during slow wave sleep, he released the same scent, enhancing sleep. The next day's memory performance surpasses others. Brain imaging shows familiar scents trigger the hippocampus to replay learning in dreams, forging short-term into long-term memories. In 2013, Nettergaard from the University of Rochester. Another brain cleansing function has been discovered. When mice enter slow wave sleep, brain cells shrink and spaces between them expand by 60%. Cerebrospinal fluid rushes in, washing away metabolic waste, including beta amyloid protein linked to dementia. This glymphatic system explains the dizziness from lack of sleep. Additionally, slow wave sleep optimizes brain function. In 2017, neuroscientists Tanoni and Sorelli spent four years studying this phenomenon. They measured synapses and discovered that after just a few hours of sleep, 
Synapse volume in the mouse cortex shrank by about 18%. This finding confirms their 2003 hypothesis that during daytime learning and experiences, synapses adjust. It will continue to increase. If uncontrolled, the brain will run out of energy and space. Sleep weakens and streamlines synapses without affecting memory storage, making room for new information the next day. As dream observation deepens, in 2013, Japanese scientist Yukihisa Ueda and his team first achieved dream reading. They had volunteers sleep in an MRI scanner, repeatedly woke them up, and asked detailed questions about their dreams. By analyzing visual cortex patterns, computers can spot dream objects like people and buildings. Though not fully reconstructed, dreams are now observable. In 2014, Ursula Voss and others used currents, applying low gamma wave, 25 to 40 hertz, during REM sleep caused over half of the subjects to enter a lucid dream state. They became self-aware, realizing they were dreaming and could somewhat control their dreams, similar to Inception. In 2021, scientists achieved real-time conversations with lucid dreamers. Researchers use sound or light to ask simple math problems, such as eight minus six. The dreamers responded through prearranged eye movement patterns. Answering questions in dreams led to 29 successful communications among 36 subjects. Though accuracy wasn't high, dreams were no longer private monologues. They were becoming dialogues. We once saw sleep as a pause in life. Dreams were seen as illusions, but the dark realm taking a third of life is not nothingness. There, rational control lives, neurons rewire, select synapses, and cerebrospinal fluid washes away, waste like time. Dreams construct safe theaters for us to rehearse emotions, refurbish memories, and spark new creativity. Perhaps we must abandon our consciousness and dissolve into the chaotic darkness each night to reassemble a fully functional and clear mind by morning.